But, map 20. This is the current leaderboard. The records haven't really changed that much the last couple of days on map 20. There's a chance we could we could come in and uh, take this back. Look at this. Things are kind of settling. Juliano, nine days ago, 10 days ago. I got my PB 19 hours ago, just 15 hundreds behind. And then you got like 10 days ago. Everything's a week ago. But let's come in here and take our take our record back. That's what we're gonna try to do. Very hard shortcut. I have played this map for over 20 hours. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Updating title, one second. And then I'm gonna change my music. I gotta get into zone. One second. Uh, here we go. So, if you haven't seen me hunt this map, let me explain it one time. This map has two shortcuts. This is my new PB. The first one is to jump out to the right here, drop down, and land with speed. Then you have to go up the ice hill. With icy tires, do a very sharp turn. It's hard to keep the grip there. Slam the wall with 360, cancel it though into like a two-parter, and then get an ice slide out. After that, you have to do a downhill drift, carry the speed, jump across the ice, Auto slide, carry speed, carry speed for the end, and finish. I think I could do a 44.5, and today I'm going to try to really get it. Yesterday I was close. I was playing this watching plane craft documentaries, and I got so many close attempts. I got, like, 50 44s. It was stupid. Oh, where's the golden timer? Should we turn it back on? It doesn't, it's, 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 it's gonna be so arbitrary. Have a good stream, Beat. Oh. Also, it's my wife's B-Day today. Happy birthday, Eden. <laughs> Happy birthday. I thought you said that you ate your wife. I am... So rotten-brained from Twitch chat. Okay, a little bit bad on the second one. Just gonna do a practice run through the end. Very important to get airtime here because if you don't, but tires are too icy and you lose time. And you want to go close here and just finish. 45, 46, 2. This Ralph, guy's the game is Dude. Howdy. Didn't you want new club skins? Yes, but also no. I don't know. These designs, I think, they're growing on me the more, the more I... I use these skins again. It's like they're so clean. I feel like you could really easily overdo it. Also, this is close. But should be impossible. Point 0.13 of that checkpoint is too far. I kinda need like a point 0.2 or something. Checkpoint there. Also, yo, Scrappy! Did you get 24? Or is it still pain? Thank you, Ralphie. Thank you, Turbo. Did two more hours something off stream? 16 hours now? I mean, it's not. It's. Uh, we shouldn't stand for the Scrappy. The Ice players are being really mean. They're being mean. You're ninth now? Oh, you got it? 
That's huge. Congrats. That's big. Ooh. They were not gonna give that to you easy. <laughs> Holy. Oh, good setup. Nah, over rotated. Something like that would be acceptable. As it would be really fun to get this record back. Think you could have gotten like four other world actions in that time? Probably. Probably could. It's a wild, um, wild record to get. Nobody knows how hard map 24 is. It's it's really difficult. Where's the speed one timer? But we don't we don't really need it. Like it's it's already a speed one. I've been seeing so many people argue about this ever since I got nominated again. Where it's like, I can't believe that Virtual got nominated for speed one streamer. He's not even speed one. He's not even a speed runner. The only speed runner is my streamer. And it's like. I don't think people like the term because it was used for something else when speedrunning started. But Trackmania world record hunting is absolutely in the truest form speedrunning. There is no debate about it. Ooh. This guy's Sigma is... Dude. You're Dang. driving, not running? Yes, but it's the, it's the activity of competing for a fast time. This guy's Sigma is... Dude. Ooh. Ha, a wild prime just appeared. Like, quick, you will go have and catch it. People that compete for level world records in, in Mario Kart. In... You know... GoldenEye. In Mario levels, even. People compete for the single star world records. In Super Mario. That's also a form of speedrunning. <laughs> it's just that traditionally, we call it hunting as a community. But it's just, it's the activity you're doing. Like, I think if you sit down with 10 pencils, if you sit down with 10 pencils, and you have to sharpen them all as quick as you possibly can, and you and others compete in that format, and it becomes a competition, you're a pencil sharpening speedrunner. You know, it's it's the activity of optimizing and grinding for a good time. Oh, please. No, ho! I hesitated the drift. Could have just let it go. Whew. Juliano sweating. That was a good start. I didn't. Th I thought. I thought I overangled the ice slide, but it really cancelled out a good time. I got WR on IC Winter Row Eight. Yo, nice. If it stays by tomorrow, uh, Rooster, I can check it. I'm. I'm gonna keep hunting this now, though. But congrats. This guy's Sigma. Uh, Kobo, thank you. Dude. Thank you also, you play. Good luck with your arms. And Rasmussen. Rasmussen. Who won Couple of the Day today? Today's Couple of the Day was one of the most exciting. I don't know. I, I really liked the battle for today's Couple of the Day. I did not have that much of a winning chance, but the battle between Sander and Granati was super exciting. Did Granati win? I mean, I can spoil it. Uh, <laughs> no, he did not. He 
He did not. Do I know about the Viper? Yes. Ooh. That was the perfect map for him. Yeah, he won like 18 of the rounds, I think. He was first place 18 or 19 of the 22 rounds we lost. Oh man. Okay, we complete this. Interesting line. Plus 30, I think, going into this. Yeah, it's still plus 30. Not really a stunt. But still, like, th this would be fifth place effectively. <laughs> you know? Like, we just beat 37,000 people with that. Anna! Coach! Hello, thank you for the raid! Long time no see chess players was good! Welcome, welcome all! We have all done our part voting for you in the stream rewards. And we hope your, your viewers have done the same. We've got a good stream. Ooh. I am hunting world record. I'm trying to beat world record. <laughs> I had this one a few days ago and now it's beaten. So now I want to take it back. Good luck. Thank you. Ooh. AKA speedrunning. Yes, that's what we're doing. Tyler effing up the category. We will not let it happen. Hoodie licious, yeah. This hoodie. Do you guys think it's bad to wear the same hoodie two days in a row? But like, I don't. I, okay, so I I hate laundry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is one thing I will always hate. And if I first pull a hoodie out of my out of my closet, and it's like, damn, this is a good hoodie. I'm not gonna wear it once and then throw it to the bin. But I'm also not going to wear it for a week. There's a limit somewhere in the between there. But it's very comfy. You have to wear the same clothes two or three days in a row. You work from home. Ooh. Two weeks fine for a hoodie. Guess the pants. I <laughs> I used to never understand how people could wear their clothes, their same clothes for so long, and then I realized that they're just better at eating. Like, it's a skill to eat without spilling on your hoodies. Or your clothes in general. Like, I was just bad at eating, so I kept spilling on my clothes, and then... <laughs> like, eventually, you know? I would just not pay that much attention. I drop like a little bit of spaghetti and it's like, oh, gotta wash it. Oh, this could start. Uh, no, well, I mean, it's like, it's okay. You wanna see 9.0 checkpoint? 9.1 is not the best. It's still good enough for World Record, but need a good on. Slow. Pretty good. Uh, point three, I think this was behind. Yeah, point three. Okay, that's what I want to know. Point three or point two is doable. My best first checkpoint, Juliano, was uh, eight ninety three yesterday. <laughs> uh, eight ninety three first checkpoint, and I'm not counting the very first one. Uh, this one down here. It was such an insane start. And I only had a few other splits below 9. 
looks good. Oh. Bam. God damn. God damn. Yeah, in general on the map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with a checkpoint like that, you can really just... fly. Like, at some point, a 9.1 start is not going to be fast enough. What's my opinion on the cow opening? I think it's a great chest opening. It's a little bit worse than a slightly viral opening that's, like, making... You know, it, people are talking about it. I go into chest streams and I see people talking about this viral chest opening all the time. And, um... Yeah, I feel like maybe at some point we need to settle the dispute. <laughs> See which opening is really better. The W or the cow? I feel like I could 1v1 Anna to see who's better, but we already did that. A couple of months ago when I won, so, you know. I feel like that wouldn't really solve it. Maybe it would. <laughs> Just not sure if coach would be too happy. You won? Yes! With a small asterisk. Small asterisk. Small disclaimer. She, she forgot to place a rook on the board. I thought good chess players knew how to place all their pieces on the starting squares, but she didn't place a rook on, on age one. So, yeah, I just took advantage of that and, and I won the game easily. Rook on, have you heard of it? It's a... Um, it's a novel concept. Why are not all the tracks ice anymore? Because we, uh, we, we, we wanted to switch things up. I got, I got two hours in though. I got four, four off medals, one gold. Pretty good. Still really hard to, uh, to get all those. It's gonna take some time. Even this if we try to rush through it. Dude. Can't you spend more attempts than W? Are you heard it here first? You're going to bed. Good luck on the hunt. Thank you, Yulano. Know. Good night. The jump is painful. It's a really uh, inconsistent shortcut the way we're doing it. And then you still need to get all the other details here, and then the rest. Thirty-five months contest. Almost three years. Welcome back. And a little F dance. Do you have any more TMNF challenges planned? Yes, I want to do more TMNF this year. That's one of my goals. To do more content in TMNF. I feel like it's easy to get lost in... Um, snow car, rally car, this, that. D14, I'm probably just gonna beat D14 off stream. Or on second channel or something. I don't like streaming it for content. It is just not a fun map to play on stream. Um, so I don't want to play it on stream. <laughs> I want to do other things on stream that I that are like. I don't know, it, it, like, more understandable. People don't understand, I think, that D14 is a map you actually have to pour, like, 80 hours into. <laughs> and most TLNF maps are. Ooh. Like, there's gonna be about a week of streams where probably no result happens. That's kind of the, the expectation. 
Ooh. Like this world record is really strong, but compared to beating D14, it, it is leagues easier. Or any other TMNF record right now. Oh, I cancelled too early. This guy's Sigma is good. Yo. Try this third time. Any other TMNF world records? I still have the world record on uh, E4. And many other top threes. Uh, Joni, thank you for 14 months. This guy's Sigma is good. Instead of D14, can we go back to the summer backwards map where you bounced for four hours straight? <laughs> Total despair, no thanks. Oh. Thank you, petrol gas. You manually change the gears? No, they happen by themselves at different speeds. So you just need to drive. The car will shift up as you go. Specifically after all the events to beat former records, everything is so optimized and the average skill of the players is so high, yeah. It's just that there's more things that can mess up your run. Like in this game, if you drive well and you avoid the walls, there's less things that can screw you over than in TMF. You can be a great player like Race Hans or Hathast and still get destroyed by bugs. Ooh. So there's another element of survival where there's things that at the speed this game moves at, are out of your control. They also have to factor in. Landing bugs, etc, etc. And so, like, across 15 years of competing on the same 65 maps, the records are at a point where they're both driven by really good players, who are driving fast, but also getting certain events happening that are very unlikely. Ooh. It also allows for more interesting things to happen, though. But yeah. Ooh. Is there a reset tracker? I can tell you I'm about 7,000 resets on this. Last I checked. <laughs> Solid 7,000 attempts. Ooh. What's the deal with Raisons' hidden folders? He likes to upload world records in... in batches. So he might be preparing something. He says he is. If you keep resetting, you'll never finish a run. But would you want to finish a slow run? At some point, does it matter if you drive another 45.2 or a 46.3? Do you have info about Deep Dip 2? Like release date? Sh should I continue Deep. this, Benji? <laughs> Is this worth my time continuing this run? Do, do we gain any info from driving this run to the finish? At some point... You just gotta realize, when you're hunting a map, that you have everything you need. You just need to optimize your attempts to, to get record. And also, things just take hard work. Ooh. Sometimes the main factor you need is just the time spent of good attempts. You don't need breaks, you don't need to go on another map, reset your muscle memory, you don't need to practice part, you just need to do the work. Put in the hours, get the result you want. Make fun memories, make friends along the way. Enjoy your time. Like, this is a good run, I think this is the first, uh... 
Yeah, so 45 still. Like, this is top 5 world out of 37,000. But it doesn't really matter. I have plenty of those. <laughs> Gotta go faster. I'm saving all runs under uh, 45, though. Uh, Dip Dip, do I have info about Deep Dip 2? Release date? Nothing is said yet. But it's, it will be very hard to miss when it, it happens. It's gonna be all over Trickmania Twitch. Why is the best time on a map called World Record? Wouldn't Track Record make more sense? Well, that's what it is, no? The world's best record on that map. <laughs> you have national records as well, if you want to look at your own leaderboard. Like, in Norway. These are the records. You have the European records. For this map. Can you please put the bonk plug-in in? Uh, no I cannot. Because it'll be annoying. But yeah, it's just, just how we compete. Oh. Who currently has the most world records? Depends on where you count. In this current campaign, it's Grunati. But these refresh every three months. And TMNF is half us right now. It always always changes. Depending on which metric you you look at. Last campaign it was Danish players solely that one with the most records. Oh, this would have been so beautiful. Look at this angle. Wow. That would have been about equal on the split. That's a good jump. And a solid ending. This would have been 78, I think. 4478 without just one respawn. Oh, Mudda actually had more world records last season? I didn't know. Still here a day later. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. This guy's Sigma is. Dude. Guys, you have to realize this. Night. Sometimes great things, things you want to achieve, they take more than. 24 hours. They take more than a day. They can take a week. They can take a year. Getting your masters can take seven years. Things take time. That's good. No, just too much. I felt it though. But I, there was no good point I felt to release that drift either. 600 ahead. I can gain like four or five in the end. We're still looking at close, but not quite. We're out of here. But this is a video game. Uh, it's also, you know, very competitive video game. Ooh. The best players all have played for thousands of hours. If you want to be the best, you got to play for thousands of hours too. Where would I could gain time against this ghost? It's actually mostly in the start. Uh, after the shortcut, it's like 0.15 ahead. Sun cost fallacy? Well, not really even. This Sun guy's cost fallacy is like, I am too far into quit. Vibes. It'll be like, I want to leave this map behind, but I can't, because I have committed too much time. For me, it's like, I, I haven't gotten the result I wanted. 
Why would I quit now? Do I think of the four months? Ooh. It just takes a long time to get good at stuff, yeah. It does. Unfortunately. But that's also, you know... The things that you feel are worthwhile are often the things that end up being the most difficult. No? Like, if you worked really hard on something and you, and you complete your goal or whatever, it kind of feels better than something that kind of fell into your lap. Ooh. If I if I spent a hundred hours getting a world record, and I got another good record that I kind of just got lucky with, I take more pride in the one I you know really worked for. If you study really hard for a test and you get a good score, it's kind of more rewarding and more satisfying than if you just get lucky with multiple choice questions. <laughs> Those are the best. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a mix of both is the perfect balance. Okay, at least a little bit better on the start now. Still not the angle here. This is gonna crash the sign, I think. Is the same with winning the lottery? I think that, I mean, it's very often said that winning the lottery will ruin your life. Ooh. And it happens more often than you'd think, where a lottery winner just completely... ...goes off the, off the hinges, off the rails, and does shit that is not smart. And, uh, I don't know. I think it's because, uh, if you win the lottery, you... Um, maybe you just don't have the same, like, attachment to the money that you, you, you win. Because you haven't worked to obtain it. So you just spend it more frivol frivolously. Ooh. Like, it's kind of weird, but I find it harder to spend money I make myself than money I get from like a gift card if I got that as a Christmas present. If I get like a GameStop gift card, it's very easy to spend that. <laughs> but if I have to spend money on GameStop myself, then it's harder. Because I have more attachment to the money I make myself than what I like, if I receive it from others. Maybe it's something- I don't know. There was a Norwegian lady that won, uh, won- what was it? She won the Euro jackpot. It was some absurd- I think it was a hundred million euros. Or like one billion kroners. One of the biggest Euro jackpot. Yeah. Like completely unheard of ridiculous amount. <laughs> like that is messed up. I think the worst thing you can do is, uh, is tell anyone about it. Ooh. Oh. But 
but it instantly makes her one of Norway's wealthiest people, I think. No. Missed this angle. Us? This is like a 0.8, guys. I don't think it would have been 0.7. Point eighty-two, point eighty-one. Ah, point, point eighty. Twenty-five. This guy Sigma is, dude. Lost Pebble the three months. What do you do for a living? I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer in the Twitch Prime fields. Every day I go out, I wake up early, I begin my harvest, I call for the primes, and the primes <laughs> come to me once a month. <laughs> this guy Sigma it's not a easy dude. It's not an easy life, but it's honest work. Start. Oh, such a bad flick. <sighs> PB. Oh, almost be tacky. Point seventy two. 1200s from world record. Nice. That was a really clutch end. This was a good ending, guys. This is a good run, good ending. <sighs> a good speed run, if you will. But I think I messed up. This guy's Sigma is. Good. I think I messed up a bit. From the Twitch Prime fields. Ah, oh, thank you for the Prime, you and what? <sighs> okay, let's see. So pretty equal. My start can still be better. Look at Juliano's start. And this was not that good. Like, I could be ahead of this ghost by quite a lot. Like, the fact that I catch up to tech here is pretty good. I got such a good jump. This angle was good. But I'm not happy with how wide I went here. I should have won this battle with tech here, but I went so wide, and then I also messed up this angle a bit. Yeah, I, I should beat tech there, but still... Our goal is to beat Iliano, so... We're actually pretty close. Cool. Love the stream, but Trackmania isn't speedrunning. Would you like to explain why, Sirius? Would you like to explain why you think that? Because I've heard so many people say that. Or maybe, maybe not so many, but a lot of people think it, I think. Do you consider Mario Kart speedruns speedrunning? Where you play another racing game, but it's more in line with traditional speedrunning. Because there's no timer? Well, there is. It's a time-based activity. It's just that people compete on individual levels, more than playing the entire game. I consider CSGO surfing speedrunning. I consider this... speedruns. I consider GoldenEye, where they've competed... It's one of the first speedruns ever. Like, GoldenEye, competitive GoldenEye speedrunning, goes back to, like, the 1990s. And they just submitted DHS tapes of their best records on each level. <laughs> you know, Streets 112. I think any time-based activity you consider a speedrun. Like the example I gave earlier, if you want to sit down and sharpen pencils like Small Ant and compete for the record, that's a speedrun. <laughs> what it started as is not what it is anymore, but it's still a thing. Like, I 
people literally say this in conversations. Yeah, I'll be right there. I'm just gonna speed run cleaning the house. I'm gonna speed run the dishes. I'm gonna speed run getting banned from Club Penguin. And you might say sprint is sprinting speedruns? I think sprinting fits into a bigger category than speedruns again. Which is running as a sport. As an athletic pursuit. I, th I think speedruns in nature are not very athletic. It's more gamer. <laughs> you know? Like, there's a clear divide between, like, okay, that's- you're competing on time, like, whether you're skiing, or cycling, or running, but you're- One is physical, and one is less physical, but still a competition. Lars' new world record? 11 world records, 6 author times? Still should be pretty beatable. People keep trying to gatekeep speedrunning such a weird hill to die on, but it's like... I, I don't know why it matters so much. <laughs> it's, um... Yeah. Open live split, speedrun whatever you want. Make content, have fun. Because you keep talking about it? No, but I... Okay, I'm not talking to you, Chad. Because I'm mostly talking about... Um, people, like, on, on this tweet. The people on Twitter. Ooh. Like... This is a joke. This feels like an insult to speedrunning. Weird nominations, they're great entertainers, but three of them as one-trick ponies, one of them being virtual, who isn't even a speedrunner. And it's like, what I'm doing could just as well classify. Th th it's be they're being weird, there's more comments. They're being very weird about it. <laughs> who cares about Twitter users? No, but it- some people on Twitter have bad takes, right? But sometimes takes are reflected by a bigger population. You either believe in the moon landing or you don't. You either believe in <laughs> speedruns or you don't. Ooh. Ooh. But like, I don't think it's different if I spend 80 hours grinding D14 or if simply plays 80 hours of Mario to get a world record in that game, based on time. Ooh. It's... it's the same activity, just in different disciplines. Close, but not quite. But that is all to say, chat, if you believe Trikmania is speedrunning, and you believe this stream has been entertaining over the past year, and you want me to have a chance at winning the Speedrun Streamer Award, then please do vote. Vote, vote, vote! Exclamation mark vote. We have like a week left. This is the third year in a row where we got nominated, which is a huge honor. Very fun to go there, be a part of it. I can see the new video's title if Wirtual wins this campaign world record. The greatest three-way WR battle in Trackmania campaign history. I think that's too long of a title. Just call it the greatest threesome in Trackmania. Three-way. Three. -way. Three yeah. Sorry. That's a good title. I'd click. YouTube might suppress it though. I'd click.
the imagining of Radical on that run, I ensured it would not happen. I missed a lot of messages. What gets people is that the objective of the game is to go as fast as possible already. That's fair, but, you know, this is also the case in, in a lot of other things. Like, take Mario for example, the slide. The slide star in Mario. Your goal is just to get to the end of the slide as fast as possible. You can get there slower if you want, but, you know, some people want to get there with the fastest time. There, there's levels that have cycles. There's levels that reward you with items and things if you go fast. Ooh. Ultimately, it's it's up to what you consider, but it it is a speed up. <laughs> you don't recognize 95% of the streamers in the world you saw out of touch. Twitch has changed a lot over last years, a a and streaming as a whole. Because it's the same for me, like, if I don't... Um, if I don't go on a discovery journey to find new streamers that I haven't watched before, and I just stick to the ones I watch usually, I'm suddenly, like, way out of the loop. Like, I had not heard of Queso until I did my nominations, and people kept saying Queso, Queso, Queso. And apparently, it's a streamer that went from a hundred to sixty thousand average viewers last year. Have you guys heard of him, Queso? What? He had a hundred average viewers at the start of twenty twenty three. Now sixty thousand average. Kind of insane, right? <laughs> Same for Jinxie, but Jinxie I did know. Oh my god, we beat the world record. Yes! Yes! I got it! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! That was beautiful! Oh, I knew I wanted to play this today. Oh, nice. Very happy. My last turn was so bad. That was such a bad last turn. Oh my god, we got it back though. Okay guys, do you want to see the stats? Do you want to see the stats? This guy's Sigma is... Because this was a disgusting G -G. grind. Sometimes what you need is hard work, and what does hard work look like? 24 hours and 20 minutes played, and 7,641 resets. This guy's Sigma is... Dude. GG. <laughs> <laughs> you might think that's it, but no, 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 no. Let me show you my replay folder. Uh, let me also make sure I'm not leaking uh, hidden things in there. Uh, yes, okay, here. These are replays I've saved 44, 58, 72, 96, 90, 86, Got 99, 44, 84, speed. not speed running, 44, 88, 44, 82. 4487, 4476, 4478. It just keeps going. There are so many 44s. Driven at 7 a.m. Do not judge me. I'm a world record holder. Do not judge me for my for a 7 a.m. record, okay? <laughs> I I woke up early and got to work. I did not stay up all night. I just got to work early. Some of us are functioning members of society that get, go to work early in the day, and I was one of them. Okay? 
So do not judge. Let's compare. Let's compare. <laughs> oh, I'm happy, guys. I'm really happy. We're out of good comparison. Here this guy's Sigma is... Dude. Wider line, more speed, looks terrible, ends up being, like, okay. Still not a fantastic start. Wait, I am so far. Did my ice... Oh, my ice slide was beautiful, though. That second shortcut was beautiful. And then this break tap? Actually mint. I was very scared for this ending. <laughs> I went so wide, it was so terrible. It, this could have been at this point here of 45. Uh, 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 4455. I lost at least three hundredths here. But I just didn't want to mess up. I won my world record and I got it. Carried by second shortcut? But you know what I was actually carried by? My own strategies. Because Juliano and Taki do a different shortcut setup. Look how late he airbreaks here. He airbreaks when he hits the wall. Do you see this? And he gets a flat landing. But what I was going for, and what I've been going for this entire time, is an instant air break into a nose dive, into a cancel, so that it tips over this edge. If you look at the nose of the car, it does a nose dive onto this, into the ice slide. And I've been going for this all the time, and you can see it's really fast when it works. Instant air break, rotation cancel, here when it's like this. And then I slide. So it's not just that I got it better, but I also went for a better strategy. Oh, so how close was this? I thought I crashed when I was here. I did a break top. <gasps> Wait, you have no idea how close that is to crashing. <laughs> <laughs> if the wheel just clips a little bit here, you are so dead. Ooh. I got a vote for you in the stream rewards and while I'm gone you get WR. Nice. A little bit fitting. Anna, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you also, Osseos, for the 10 months. Nice to see you. Thank you, Ben, for the 20 months. And Dominic. Yeah, you can do 44.3 or 0.2 maybe. Really cool. Okay, chat, do we hop into rank now? Why don't you do more collabs with bigger streamers since it's a popularity contest? Well, I like collabing with people, but... You know, you, if you... <laughs> if you achieve an award on the merit of being friends with friends with friends... Then I don't know. It's still cool to have uh, to have friends vouch for you and say, "Hey, I like this guy." But I don't want that to be the only reason I get votes. 